Today, I was browsing Reddit at work, and I noticed it just has all these really cool images and photos. It got me thinking, could AI models like Dolly help us generate these kinds of images too? If you don't know what Dolly is, Dolly is an image generation model from a company called OpenAI. You use it by entering text known as a prompt and getting back images. It's really that simple. Today, I'm going to see if Dolly can generate images just like the ones in Reddit's most popular subreddit, r slash pics. This is what I found out. I started with what I think was the first post on r slash pics, and I was immediately blown away by the results. Now the prompt took some tweaking, but I, it's almost like, what's the point of even looking stuff on r slash pics when you can just get Dolly to generate it for you? Um, or alternatively, maybe r slash pics is a great source to generate ideas for Dolly prompts. This was the next image, I believe sequentially on the page. And these results are also cool. I, I think they fit the style of the original image, but I would say the elements are, are really different. Maybe the description of the prompt, like it's just too broad, but anyways, still cool nonetheless. I've chose this one because honestly, I feel steampunk is actually a Dolly strength. And so I wanted to see based on the description what Dolly would come up with if it's on par with something hand-drawn and that too something successful that got a lot of upvotes on r slash pics. This was a cool photo I chose because I actually did want to see what is Dolly's understanding of images like this. You, you would think the data set is full of images of the Mona Lisa. And by the looks of it, I mean, I've never even been to the Louvre, but I'm imagining this is just general art gallery, museum image kind of content. Still cool, I guess, especially this one. This one is an interesting optical illusion, cool photo, and just an interesting math concept. And this is what Dolly came up with. I'm not sure how accurate it is, but these are just really cool and really fun to look at. I do like the sort of 3D printed quality of all the Dolly generations. I feel it nailed that. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't quite say it's the same optical illusion play on your eyes as the original image. Next, we have a river in rural Ukraine. Because the Dolly content filter is a little bit sensitive right now, it's got a lot of false positives, I had to enter Eastern Europe. I still was kind of impressed with the results there. They're kind of similar, although I, I should have maybe tweaked the prompt and added in more greenery. Still, not bad. I'm starting to think there's a lot that you don't need to browse on r slash pics. You can just enter them into Dolly and find out what they look like. We're at the end of the video, but I thought it would be fun to take these original images and generate variations of them using Dolly. They're really uh, almost trippy to look at, the original and the Dolly generations. They look quite alike, but with some slight differences. It's always impressive how much Dolly variation generation can capture the essence of the photo, some compositional elements. And you know, from the corner of your eye, they always look pretty much the same, but just a fun thing I thought I'd share. If you're interested in taking a look at the original high full resolution images which Dali generated, which were used in this video, I'm going to be posting them on my Twitter account. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like this video and are subscribed to my channel for more upcoming videos on Dali 2. See you in the next one.